a month back i told <coughs> usna that you must have a puja arranged this sunday it's a full moon day and he asked me what should we call is it a guru puja or is it a puja for mahalakshmi or ganesha puja so i told him call it a guru puja and he asked me later on much later when i was going to india but why not also have christmas puja over here today is a very important day because <coughs> long time back when christ was just a child he read from the scripture and declared to the multitudes that he was the advent the incarnation who is the savior they believed that a savior is going to come today long time back on a sunday he said he declared that he was the savior that's why today is the advent sunday he had to live very sh- for a very very short time so at a very young age he had to declare that he was the advent so it is remarkable to see that before this no incarnation said publicly that they were incarnation rama of course had forgotten that she was an incarnation in a way he was, he made himself to forget paid his maya upon himself to become a complete human being maryada purushottama and shri krishna also only told one person arjuna just before he was to start the war abraham never said that he was the incarnation though he was the incarnation of primordial master Dattatreya himself never said that he was the incarnation of the primordial master. With all these three forces acting through innocence, came on the earth to guide. Moses never said that, though they knew he was great. He had overpowered nature. but he never said that he was the incarnation at the time of christ one felt it was necessary to say otherwise people won't understand if at that time they had recognized christ there would have been no problem but still human beings had to evolve further somebody had to cross the agya chakra in the virata 
to go through that door. That's why Christ came on this earth. It is most surprising <laughs> that in this tree of life, when the roots give out the shoot, and the shoot gives out the branches, and the branches give out the leaves, and the flowers also blossom out of the same tree. Those who know the roots do not want to know the shoot. Those who know the shoot do not want to recognize the flowers. This is typical human nature. I never said about myself, because it was felt that human beings have now achieved another dimension of ego. Even worse than at the time of Christ. May you blame anything. You can call it industrial revolution because you are away from the nature or whatever you may call it. But human beings had lost all contact with reality. They were identified with artificiality. And to accept such a great reality is going to be impossible for them. That's why I never said a word about myself. Till, of course, some of the saints told about me, <coughs> some of the possessed people also told about me, And also people started wondering that how the most difficult thing of Kundalini awakening takes place with that speed in the presence of Mataji. There was a temple in India and nobody knew about it. But they found that the ships which went near a particular spot were drawn towards the shore. And it was difficult to ply them back and they had to put double force to take out of that attraction. And they did not know that there was some thing that was acting. They thought there was something wrong with the depth of the sea. But invariably it happened to many ships. Then they wanted to find out, after all, what is happening to those ships? Why all the ships suddenly start getting attracted towards the shore? So they tried to find out. And when they went into the jungles, they found a big temple. And on top of the temple was kept a huge mass of magnet. So through rational understanding, people reached the point that Mataji has to be something exceptional, because nowhere in the scriptures written down anywhere that such an incarnation came on this earth, whose mere glance, even thought, can raise the Kundalini. Now 
many saints who are away from the madding crowd sitting in the jungles on the himalayas all know about it because their awareness is at a point where they understand they understand much more than you do because you are still children newly born they are grown up but today is the day i declare that i am the one who has to save the humanity i declare i am the one who is adi shakti who is the mother of all the mothers who is the primordial mother the shakti the desire of god who has incarnated on this earth to give its meaning to itself to this creation to human beings and i'm sure through my love and patience and my powers i'm going to achieve it I was the one who was born again and again. But now in my complete form and complete powers, I have come on this earth not only for salvation of human beings, not only for their emancipation, but for granting them the kingdom of heaven the joy the bliss that your father wants to bestow upon you these words are to be kept within the bounds of sahaj yogi only for the time being and today is the day of guru puja not my puja but your puja as gurus i anoint all of you as gurus and today i will tell you what i have bestowed upon you and what great powers you already have within you. among you there are people who are still not been able to recognize my announcement will work it out within them the recognition without recognition you cannot see the play without play 
you cannot have confidence within yourself. Without confidence, you cannot become guru. Without becoming guru, you cannot help others. And without helping others, you are not going to be in any way happy. So to break the chain, is very easy, but to build the chain one after another is what you have to do. This is what you were all wanting to be, so be confident and be joyous and be happy that all my powers will protect you, my love will nourish you, and my nature will fill you with peace and joy. May God bless.